inside of this one, we're gonna be going over literally everything on how to start a Shopify dropshipping business. This is by far the most in-depth free course I've ever done on this channel. Now, in the past, I've seen these videos get the most views out of any other videos I've ever posted on here. So I know you guys absolutely love these type of videos. And at the very end of this, I even have a free gift for each and every one of you guys who makes it until that point. So with that being said, you guys, I'm excited. Tico's excited. We're all excited. Oh no, he's taking it. Yo, what the f bro? F off, bro. No what the f off? What we're gonna do first is pick a product. How we're gonna pick a product is by looking on TikTok and doing this thing that I like to call hashtag searching. That being said, since we're going to find a product that we're gonna try to market and get to go viral on TikTok, the best place we could look for a product that might go viral on TikTok is TikTok. Open up the app, TikTok, whatever my search is, New York things to do, cause I'm going to New York, searching something like helpful products. So search up helpful products here, check this out. Now, once you search up something like helpful products. I'll also give you a list at right after this of just different things to search in here. But once you search that, you're going to click these three dots. You're going to go filters and then you're going to filter by like count and then you're going to filter by last three months. So then you're going to see the most liked videos in the last three months. Boom, boom. Right here. Do, do, do. Scroll until we find something that could be a product. That's not a good one, right? So right there, helpful products didn't really give us too much in the last three months. So the next thing we're gonna do is helpful gadgets. Helpful gadgets. And you basically just wanna go through helpful gadgets, useful gadgets, best gadgets, top gadgets, all these different hashtags. And when something does like that, what that last one just did to us doesn't have a lot of videos, just search up something else, you guys. If you're going and filtering by them by last three months, certain hashtags that used to hit might not hit anymore, sort of stuff like that. So you wanna make sure that you're searching everywhere and you might find a hashtag that nobody's searching or a search that nobody's searching and that has a bunch of bangers on it. Stuff like that happens all the time. And if you can find that, it's literally just a free funnel of products to to your feed. But with that being said, as we scroll through here, this looks like a better one, helpful gadgets. So as you can see right here, we've got a product that's getting thousands of likes right here, clearly a drop shipping product, but we're just gonna be scrolling through until we find something that's going super, super viral that we know we could sell ourselves. Basically what we're looking for is something that has had over a million views at least once in the last three months and is making over a couple hundred dollars per day and is making at least $500 per day consistently. In this stage, just scroll through here until you see products that are going viral, save the website link and that's it. Try to get 10 to 20 websites saved up. But once you have that list of 10 to 20 websites together, here's what we're gonna do next. What you're gonna do next is go over to Dropship.io. I'll have a link in the description to check out Dropship.io. No, they're not paying me to make this video. Video. This is simply a service that I do recommend. Yes, the link below is an affiliate link, but it also gives you guys a discount that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get unless you're able to access and use my link. I can just go down right here to the sales tracker. This is really where I hang out most of the time. Once you're inside the sales tracker, all you're gonna do is take the websites you found and literally just copy the links to the websites, insert them right in here, click start tracking. So I'm just gonna do that real quick with every single website that we found. Right here is another one. Boom, I'm gonna paste all these guys in here. And then you guys, the one thing about this is it does a lot of times take 12 to 24 hours to update. So if that's the case, then I'll definitely make a clip tomorrow and add it to this video, but I'm gonna get going or keep going forward with the tutorial um, if we can't get them to load right away and just use some others for examples. But sometimes they do load right away, so. But with that being said, when you're on Dropship.io, the main thing you're looking for is just whatever's doing the most sales. So as you can see, here's a bunch of websites I've looked up before. You might recognize some like Young LA. But when I'm looking up these websites, you guys, it's literally telling me how much they made today, what they made yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days. It's giving me all the info I need to see if this product's really a winner or not. I could even go and click into the info on their brand and I could see their revenue on specific reports. So I could choose different dates, anything like that that I want to see. And I could even see their best sellers down here and how much each product did. So if I want to know what their winners are, I literally just go here and I could find their winners if it's a multi product store. Crazy, crazy tool. But really, all I use it for is just to verify that the product's making sales. As I said, all you wanna see is sales yesterday or sales today above $500. If you see sales yesterday, like this right here, 664, that's above 500, that's a winner all day, right? So Feastables, this was for the Mr. Beast video I dropped last week. Make sure you guys check that out if you haven't yet. When you're looking here, you're just looking for something that's making over $500 a day. As I said, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and add the clip to this video so we can see what out of these products is doing the most. We're actually just gonna guess what one I think's doing the best and 
and uh, roll with that one for the rest of the video. And then I guess it'll be cool because by the time you guys are watching this, you guys could see if my intuition was correct about which product of these is doing the best or making the most sales simply off just looking at it. All right, you guys. So now that we have a winning product, we're going to hop right into stage two. When it comes to stage two, you guys, this is all about building your brand. All right, you guys. So when it comes to actually making a name and a logo for your brand, one of the most important things is to actually make something that's simple. And when it comes to doing that, it's really easy to just replicate off your competitors. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to go off the top of my head or use chat GPT. Once you guys pull up chat GPT, the next thing you're going to do is just take whatever product it is that you're running. For the sake of this video, we're going to use this nebula.led. I think this product is absolutely crazy. Honestly, it's going insane. As you can see, 44.8 million views literally last month. Crazy product, crazy opportunity, lots of potential. I can guarantee you these people are making a lot of money with this guy. So we're going to sell this product. So all I'm going to do is go here and I'm going to tell chat GPT, what should I call this product? So basically give me new variations of this name. Boom. Right. So right here, we've got a bunch. So galaxy beam, star glow, astro glow, Celestic Nebula Craft. So now I can just pick from here which one I really like. So I kind of like Astro Glow, just Astro Glow Projector. So boom, that's a perfect name. So now we're gonna go over to Canva. And what Canva is, is a free software that you can use to build logos and designs for whatever brand or company you wanna start. So what I'm gonna do is go here, I'm gonna click Command V, which is just gonna literally paste our name that we just copied from ChatGPT, or just you know click paste or whatever, or just retype it out once you get over here. And then, First thing I'm gonna do, take away this. I'm just gonna go Astro Glow Projector. And this is probably the coolest part about making a logo, why it's so easy. This is how I make it easy on myself. So what, and you guys wanna make it easy too. You don't wanna overcomplicate the logo part. It's not something that's that crazy important, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have Astro Glow as the logo on the website, cause it'll look cleaner just like that. And then I'm gonna put Projector on the actual product page. So Astro G L O W. Boom, and then we're gonna change this font over to, let's do, I like this bangers one a lot. I like Anton, it's clean, simple. So we'll go Astro Glow. Next thing that I might wanna do to make it just look kinda cool, maybe I could add a planet behind it. We'll test this, see if it looks good. If it doesn't, we'll not do it. So Canva's pretty cool because you can do all these editing things and it's like super easy to learn how to use. You don't have to be like an advanced editor or anything. I really don't know much about editing, but Canva makes it you know super easy to look like you do. This thing's something I started a long time ago and this is actually why I use the logo for the creator brand, why it's the R is because I feel like that R is so like resemblant of making your own thing and you know trademarking your own way in life. So with that being said, save page one this is the logo we're going to use you're going to want to save as transparent background otherwise it's not going to work right so make sure you do that now it's time to start our shopify store so you guys are just going to need an email to start the shopify store so if you want to go ahead and go make a new email right now you can but make an email that's all you're going to need once you make an email all you're going to do next is go ahead and go to the link underneath this video it's going to look like this you're going to go to the link in my description that says start shopify for free you're going to click that and that's going to allow you to start shopify for for $1 per month. Once you click start free trial, it's gonna bring you to a page that looks like this where it's gonna ask you a couple questions. You could just click skip all and then just choose wherever your company's located, click next, and then it's gonna let you in to your store. So now that I've picked my account, it's setting up my store as you can see, just like that. In a couple seconds, you literally have Shopify set up. Just make sure you use the link in the description because it does help me in the channel out and it also gives you access to Shopify for $1. So make sure you go ahead and do that. But other than that, you guys, the next thing you're gonna wanna do once you're inside of Shopify is just go ahead and click select a plan. And what you're gonna do is select the basic plan. You wanna select this one because it's gonna give you that $1 for the first three months. And then after that first three months, it's gonna be $29, which is a great deal. So make sure you guys choose basic. You guys can choose these ones if you want, but all you really need is the basic plan. So just do that, choose basic. If you don't choose a plan, you're not gonna be able to actually make your store live. It's not gonna charge you today. You still have a three day free trial, but make sure that you at least select it, so then we're gonna be able to make your store live in the end. So you just select basic plan, and then right after you guys do that, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just go to online store. And I'm just gonna to explain to you guys the Shopify interface. So 
Once we're in an online store, what you guys are gonna see here is a bunch of things called themes. These are essentially the clothing that you have for your website. It's the base of your website. It's what your website is. It's where you're starting. It's the template, right? This is templates for your website. As you can see, they all look different and you can kind of pick the vibe you want based off the brand or the product you're selling. I recommend Sense or I recommend Taste. I also really do like Dawn. Dawn is probably gonna be what we're gonna use in this video just because I think it's super clean. It works super fast, great looking theme. The Dawn theme is actually actually the theme that Shopify automatically has loaded up as your primary theme as soon as you start Shopify. So if you wanna use another one of these like Sense, all you do is click add theme. Once this is ready, I can click publish and then that'll make it my main theme. It'll essentially switch places with Dawn. Click customize. Once I'm inside of here, this is where we're gonna be doing all our store building. Now you guys, one thing I really recommend is do not edit your store in desktop view. Go to mobile view. People are gonna be on your website 99% of the time on their phone because they're coming off of social media. So why why would you make your website optimized for desktop view? It could be optimized for both, that's always good, but if it's gonna be one or the other, at least do phone view. And if you're a beginner, since it's likely to be one or the other, even if you try to do both, make sure you just make the phone view look good because that's the most important. So with that being said, the next thing we wanna do is just go up here and do all the basics. So colors, logo, things like that. So just click this little theme settings guy right here go over to logo and this is where we can just upload our logo. Let's go ahead and click that, click done, boom. And now we have our logo uploaded up top. As far as the width, I'm gonna make it as big as possible. I like it to look big and pop out. And then I'm just gonna click save. As far as colors go, you guys, what I like to do is black and white, literally always on almost every single website that I have until I start making sales and really wanna brand it differently. But even after I start branding a product, I love the black and white website look. It's just clean, simple, to the point, never looks bad, doesn't look like a scam. It looks clean, looks modern. So what we're gonna do is just go in anything that's not black or another color in these schemes, we're just gonna make black. So then the whole website is white and black. And these color schemes are essentially what you're gonna use to customize your website. You could be like, hey, on this page, I want it to be scheme two. On this page, I want it to be scheme four. And I like to make all my schemes, as I said, black and white, and then kind of play off those colors. So, but you're free to do whatever. There's obviously every color on there. So you could use whatever you want, depending on what product you're selling. For this one, as I said, I'm gonna use black and white. But if we go up here and go back to these sections, this is what we're gonna do next. Go to the announcement bar, and all I'm gonna do right here is just put free worldwide shipping on all orders. Free worldwide shipping on all orders. And then we're just gonna click save. For the announcement bar, I'm gonna edit it to where it's black and white because it looks better with the white header. And then I'm gonna click save. All I did to change that was clicked announcement bar and then edited the scheme right here. Now, make sure you guys are in mobile view once again. I just wanna say that once again so you guys remember. But after that, we're gonna get our section set up. So this is gonna be a one product store. So all we're gonna do is get rid of this featured collection thing right here. We're gonna add section and it's just gonna be featured product. Underneath the featured product section, I also wanna add a multi-column. This is gonna be a little spot where we can do a little bit more talking about our product. But as you guys just saw, you can go right here to themes or to sections and you can add whatever you want right in here for your website. There's tons of things, you know, collages, slideshow, image banner, video, blog post, pages, you know, custom theme or custom coding if you want to, contact form. You could add all this stuff. Sometimes I like to add a contact form at the bottom too. We'll add it just for fun. But with that being said, now all we're gonna do is click save. If you guys don't click save, it's not gonna save. So make sure you guys do that. I know it sounds obvious, but it's not as obvious as it seems once you get in the zone and you're you know, busting things out and not really thinking about it. So next thing you wanna do is go to theme settings. You wanna go down to checkout and then you wanna add your logo in the checkout. So right here where it says logo, right here, we're gonna go ahead and add the image. So we're gonna add the same logo. Boom, click done, click save. All right, you guys, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is just go over to settings now that we have the base for our store kind of set up. Once you're in settings, go to policies and all we're gonna do right here is start generating a privacy policy and then generate a terms of service policy. Generate both of these and then we're just gonna go ahead and click save. After we save those two things, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go over to markets and we're gonna add our markets. But one thing I do wanna say about policies, you guys, is once you add these, once you have these replaced with templates, 
template, Shopify generates this template, but you still have to put your info in here. And also do not take anything I say in this video as legal advice. Obviously you guys are free to read over this and make sure all the policies are correct and apply to your specific place where you're from. I'm not a legal advisor. This is just advice based off of what I'm doing or what I've done in the past, but make sure you guys go through here and actually add all of your stuff. As you can see right here, it says note to merchant. It lets you know that this is just a template. So make sure you add all your own info in there. But what we're gonna wanna do now is go to markets. And all we're gonna do here is see this international section right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this market and then we're just gonna add a market with everything in it. So click add market, go here. I like to just type in worldwide. And then all I'm gonna do is just add everything. So I'm just gonna add Africa, Asia, North America, click that, Oceania, boom. Just add every single country in here because you obviously might as well have them all activated. And if you find out you can't ship to a certain place, you just refund the customer their order if it obviously can't get to them. So with that being said, now that we have all these markets set up, we can't activate it until we set up our shipping rates. As you can see, this other market, United States is already active, but we can't activate our other one, which is inactive until we go ahead and set up shipping for it. This primary market that's automatically active is gonna be wherever you're from. So make sure you set this up, otherwise your store will only be able to sell to wherever you're from because that's the only one that's active. But now that we have the worldwide market set up, the next thing we're gonna go down and do is add our shipping settings so then we could actually activate this worldwide market. So we're gonna to go to shipping, we're gonna to go to general, and all we're gonna do right here is just delete, 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 and then remove rates. Now we're gonna click add rates and all we're gonna do is create zone. We're gonna do worldwide and then we're also, can't forget about US at the bottom, United States, we're gonna call this worldwide. And then just like that, you guys, we've got shipping set up. So I'm gonna call this free worldwide shipping. Usually what I like to do is free VIP insured shipping. This is even better. But you can do insured or worldwide. It doesn't really matter too much. But free VIP insured shipping is just something that I've always kind of gone to. As far as conditions go, you don't have to add anything. Literally just make it zero. Free VIP insured shipping, done. Now you have free shipping on all that. And as you can see, not covered by your shipping zone, zero. So it means everything's covered. So you're basically good to go. But you cannot forget after this step to go back and activate this market. So now it's gonna actually let us activate it. And as you can see, active boom but other than that you guys now we're going to just go back to online store and get started customizing however this time we're not going to go into the actual website we're going to go over to this part where it says add apps once we're in this section where it says add apps right here on the left bar add apps we're going to go ahead and add zendrop z-e-n-d-r-o-p and this is what we're going to do to, or use to actually get our store set up and actually have the products put on our store so we're going to install zendrop real quick and as soon as we get this thing installed, we're gonna be able to actually start adding the product to our store and finishing up the build on this thing and actually getting it to the point where it looks like a legit business that's ready to run because at the end of the day, it is. All right, you guys, so now that we're inside of Zendrop, all we're gonna do is go ahead and go down to my products and we're gonna see that right here in our import list, we obviously don't have anything yet. The import list is essentially where your products are gonna be once you go inside of Zendrop. Zendrop is a platform that acts as a supplier and literally as a everything you need. In order to get products to your customers as fast as possible, you need to have a reliable supplier to work through, and Zendrop is exactly that. Zendrop is a reliable supplier that's gonna get you what you need on time for your customers. They even allow you to send custom thank you letters to your customers in all your boxes right off the bat with your dropshipping products, you guys. That is insane. There's no other supplier out there that's doing it that crazy. You're gonna notice there's a dashboard. There's a spot where you can find products, orders, branding, boxes and bundles, AliExpress import, trendy pop products, and Zendrop Academy. As we go in here, you guys, we're just on the free plan because I wanna show it as if I was you guys. So once we go to find products, here's a spot where you can just find whatever products you're looking for. So you could search for any products that are already on the Zendrop catalog. These are all products that are gonna have good shipping, great quality, all that great stuff. And you can literally just click add the import list on any of these and it'll add right into your import list. I could even search for products. So if we wanna search for our product, which is the Astro Projector, we could go ahead and find it. See, I believe it's this guy right here. 
right? Almost, almost a little different, but no, it, it's that guy. So as you guys can see right here, we've got our LED astro projector, boom. All we're gonna do is add the import list, and now we literally have that imported to our store. Now, if you're on Zendrop and you do not see your product on here, if you don't see any of this on here, you search and you just can't find your product, what you need to do is go to AliExpress import, and all you need to do once you're in here is literally just paste any AliExpress link that you have to any product, and it will add it to Zendrop. Zendrop will get a quote for you on that product within 24 hours and have it added to their catalog for you. And this is accessible through the Zendrop Zendrop paid plan. Now I have a special deal for you guys on the Zendrop paid plan in the description that you guys are not going to be able to get anywhere else because I worked out this deal personally with Zendrop. So make sure you guys go to the link in the description so you don't have to pay full price for the actual Zendrop paid plan. Now all we're going to go ahead and do you guys is go ahead and go to my products and we're going to go to import list and as you can see we've got our LED astro projector. Now once we go here we're going to click review and publish. Basically, we're gonna look at the description. So we're gonna change the name to our name that we have for this product, Astro Glow Projector. Boom, and as you guys can see, we got that description. We're gonna go ahead and ask ChatGPT to make us a better description. Make this description better and more fun. And if you guys can't find a description on your product, just go to your competitor's website, copy it and say, make this better and more fun into ChatGPT. And then boom, just like that, got a description. All we're gonna do now is paste this description in here instead, delete these emojis. I don't like the way that looks. Go to variants and then we're just gonna go ahead and do, let's do, let's do $39.99. And then usually I like to sell it for at least two times what the product costs, so this is about two times. So now we're gonna go to images, make sure we only have the images we want. I'm gonna keep all these because I think all these are good. Obviously order the product yourself and take your own content. It's the best way to do it. But I also wanna make sure ChatGPT changes the name of the product. So I'm gonna say, call it the Astro Glow Projector. So now at this point, we can just copy and paste this guy right into Zendrop, which is super, super cool. Copy, paste, boom, just like that, you guys. And then publish to store. Boom, got it, confirm. Boom, just like that, you guys. Now we got this thing publishing to our store, but now we're just gonna go back to my store. We're gonna go to products, and as you can see right there, in stock, 50,000 available, you guys. Lots of inventory, lots of product to sell. So with that being said, now it's almost time to get selling. Last thing we need to do is pimp out this description. So what we're gonna do is just go like this. All you're gonna do is left click on this, click search images with Google. That's gonna pull you up a bunch of other products right here or a bunch of other listings for this exact same product. And now we can just take pictures from these. So basically you could just use this Google lens thing to just search through until you find the product pictures that you want. Obviously, ideally just take your own photos at home, order the product yourself and take them at home. You wanna do that for sure. But we're just doing this because obviously we have limited time to make this thing you know, look good because this is obviously just a tutorial video. These look perfect, honestly. Now integrate these guys right into the description, go and insert image upload file and you guys can do this with giphys too but it's super easy to do with photos so um, it's nice to just do with that if you don't have the product in hand to make giphys yet so photo boom go to the next little text block paragraph break it up with another little photo people like to look at images you guys this is good because i could barely read so i like looking at pictures better you know this whole reading stuff on little phone screens is not it last one we're going to upload one more photo right here we're going to do this one i like to add photos that kind of talk about features of the product in the description because it makes sense to have there so i kind of like to add stuff like that now i'm going to click save and after i click save now we've got literally everything set up you guys we've got our variant set up we've got everything set up on this product the only thing we need to do next is preview and just make sure everything looks good we've got a good looking description photos in between everything looks good clean you can buy it add now add to cart buy now super clean looking simple to the point easy to understand that's how i like to make my websites this is set up and ready to make sales at this point basically next thing we want to do though is make sure the home page looks good and all that fun stuff so we're going to go back to online store and we're going to start customizing that side of things if we go ahead and click customize you can go and play with this as much as you want you guys have fun making your store look good but first thing we're going to do is customize this image banner which is right here we're gonna actually just use one of the images that we just found. I have kind of the perfect one in mind that we just found. It's this guy right here. Boom, I think this one will look cool on the homepage, I feel like. And then let's go browse our latest products. Let's delete that. Get yours now. Cause it's a one product store, so you don't have to say shop now, say get yours now. Boom, 
and then we can just link this to our one product, the Astro Gold Projector. So now when people click that, it's gonna go straight to the product page like this. Boom, super dope, right? So now as we go right here to the featured product, we're gonna actually add our product since we have it now. Select save, click save, and then we're gonna go down here and start messing with the multi-column. So with this, what I like to do is just take the chat GPT description that it made us and just grab a paragraph and make each paragraph one of these blocks. So I'll go right here, paste this. Then I'll take like the word embark, for example. I'll make it instead of column, I'll put embark right there. And then I'll go down to the next one. And then we'll go ahead and do boom. Just so in case people scroll down on your website, they can get a little bit of a description explaining, you know, what it is. If they're, you know, interested enough to scroll down, they're probably interested enough to read the description. So it's kind of good to have something down there. So right here, I'm going to do this one. This one's a good one to end with. Now we can just go ahead and click save on that guy. Go back to multi-column and now we're going to add the button label. So I'm going to do get yours now boom and then i'm gonna go button link go to products let's go directly to the astro glow projector and then i want to delete this little multi-column thing you could put like you know more about us or like why us something like that but i'm just gonna do nothing for this one i'm just gonna let them get right into the right into the key highlights once they scroll down so now next thing we're gonna do is go down here we're gonna go footer we're gonna add block and we're gonna add menu we're gonna add our footer menu and we'll customize it later, but we're just gonna add it for now. And now at this point, we've got everything set up on the website, looking clean. We go to the product page, product page looks clean. Only thing I wanna change is that first photo right there. So I'm gonna exit, I'm gonna go to products and I'm going to change this first photo. Change this guy, make sure it has this one instead. So let's go edit image or add image, I mean, boom, done save so now that'll be the first image that pops up on the store when we go to the product so check this customize click on the product get yours now as you can see super clean got a good looking description everything looks great only thing i'm seeing we need to fix is right here see how it says my store in order to fix that you guys go exit go settings go right here and then just do astro glow and just like that, you guys, you are set up with a brand that's ready to make sales. So if we click customize, just to look over one more time, it looks super clean. This brand is ready to go. This is ready to start making sales literally right now, you guys. Everything on here is ready. Once you set up your payments, that's gonna be the last step you need to really make everything look good. But if we add this product to cart or to really make everything work, but if we add this product to cart, go to checkout. As you can see, we've got our logo up on the checkout. People are able to enter all their info. They're able to check out and pay with PayPal. Obviously, once you set up, your Shopify payments, you're also gonna see credit card options here. But that's it, you guys, just like that, you have a brand set up. At this point, you're also free to add apps. There is a lot of Shopify apps I recommend, but I'll save that for another video because in the beginning, I don't recommend you guys add apps at all. And with that being said, now that we have a store, let's move on to stage number three. No hands. She makes that ass dance. Makes that ass clap. Throw it back, back. Time to wrap that, cap that, put it in a knapsack, twist and make your back splat. Get that ass fat. All right, you guys. So, stage number three. And when it comes to marketing, there's two main marketing angles that we are here to talk about, and that's free traffic and paid traffic. I truly believe the best place to start as far as marketing goes is the free methods like free traffic because you're not having to spend any money or risk anything up front, which is literally the best thing you could ever ask for when it comes to starting any type of business, especially an online business and especially your first business. I recommend free traffic. However, there's also paid ads. We'll start by explaining free traffic. When it comes to free traffic, you guys, the main thing you have to keep in mind is you're going to be posting on TikTok. So you're going to be going on TikTok looking for other people's videos that are currently going viral and just recreating them. So use the brand that you found your product on when we were doing product research. This is why we did product research that way in the beginning is because now when it comes to the marketing, you literally just go back on that account where you initially found the product, see their most viral videos and copy them exactly. Use the same type of clips, make the camera look the same, make the angles look the same, use the same hashtags literally make it the exact same. You don't have to use your brain at all. Post that same content and you're going to have a very high chance of going viral. The reason this works is because if you're reposting photos or if you're reposting, I mean, remaking videos, don't repost anybody's content, make it yourself. But if you're making videos yourself of the product, you just order it on Amazon, make the videos. If you're making those yourself, TikTok is going to recognize that. The algorithm is going to look at that video and it's going to say, hey, this video is a lot like this one that already went viral, but 
it's a little different. So maybe this one will do good too. And they're gonna just slam your video out to a bunch of people. This is why posting on TikTok organic is such a strong method of making money or making organic sales, getting organic traffic. Nowadays, TikTok is not even as hot as Instagram Reels, you guys. Instagram Reels is absolutely crushing it right now. But I would still definitely recommend you post on TikTok and just repost your TikToks on Instagram Reels. Also keep in mind when you're doing free traffic, do not expect results in the first two or three days. It takes some consistency. All social media takes that no matter which way you slice it, including paid ads. Paid ads accounts take time to get what's called season to where they really understand your audience and are really doing well. You right, guys, here's the explanation of what's about to go down. Basically, what we're gonna be doing is filming TikToks. I wanted to show you guys me actually making TikToks. I get a lot of requests for this and um, I figure it's a perfect time to show it. And so we're gonna be showing this. I was gonna use a drop shipping product and we might still do a drop shipping product after we do this one. Um, but basically what we're gonna be doing is using the creator brand products since I always get asked to see the creator brand products stuff too. You guys see it in the background sometimes, but we're gonna be making TikToks for the creator brand and you guys are gonna get to see the whole process. So basically, if you come into the office, first off, what I wanna say you guys is with making content, so we just set this up. It was just a random idea. I found these LED strips I had at the house and I basically just put them through the the um, bags and essentially I'm gonna use these or this setup for when I'm making TikToks as well as the setup that has these lights and all the you know different clothes and different couture is the right name for it hanging on it. But with that being said, um, the main thing I wanna point out here you guys is you guys can do cheap effective things to make really good content. So if you don't have a great room, if you don't have a setup right because nobody starts out with a setup or an office that you know is set up for this shit right. So what you need to do is you cop a little LED strip like this, something that's you know 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, right? And you could use it for number one, lighting. Obviously with drop shipping products, you're not gonna be putting this through the product and like doing all this. This is because it's a, you know, bag or designer brand that I'm working on. With a drop shipping product though, you could use these for lightings in the background. You could use them for underglow, like you see right here on this piano, right? You could use it for underglow in the background. And it's a little, really, really cheap thing. The LED lights are always super cheap. You could sometimes, you could even find them on the way to checkout for four bucks in the little, you know, the, like what the f bins, you could do stuff like this, fake plants, super cheap, like a couple bucks. You guys know how cheap these are, a couple bucks. Fake plants, boom, you put those in the corner, right? Look at how much, look at how much nicer that makes it look with the tags, right? Without the fake plants there, lame, weak, sucks, right? Boom, looks amazing. All right, you guys, so basically the first thing we're gonna be doing. Lighting is horrible, oh, shit. much better. All right, you guys, so basically what we're gonna be doing first is recreating a video that got okay amount of views on this account. So basically, obviously when we're doing dropshipping products, we're recreating viral content for a creator brand. I'm not recreating viral content. I'm just making my own content because obviously it's a brand that you can't replicate, right? It's something that is my creation. So it's not like I'm just recreating viral videos. So kind of cool that you're gonna get to see this type of video be made. But anyways, with that being said, it's basically just me pushing a door open and then showing off the bags. And you guys, when you're making Making these videos you guys see the screen recording how I keep my hand and everything in the middle try to keep in mind that when people are on the screen where their eyes are looking they're looking at the middle of the screen so if you're gonna put your hand there put your hand in the middle right because they're gonna see it not up here not down there not right there put your hand in the middle Boom. and then now I'm just gonna go into clips of the bags so I got the dark vibe going on but it looks super sick one thing that's cool that you guys could do too is you could see like this tag right here, for example, and this could be on anything. I know that this tag looks similar or it's the same as this tag, right? So I could even maybe go like this and just go act like I'm throwing it on this bag, right? So boom, and then, right? And then we can get one behind here. Sick. So now we're just gonna edit it up real quick, you guys, and then you'll get to see the final product. And when I'm doing this, you guys, I'm just trying to line it up so it looks smooth. See that transition, it's just smooth. All right, you guys can see in the screen recording. I do this, add the text, unreleased designs for my designer brand. Make the text a little bit shorter. We'll just do it right here. Okay. 
sick. All right, you guys, so now that we have content recorded for this product, what we're actually gonna do is upload this content to our store. So obviously we've got the store set up with the content that we found online, but we wanna make our store even better. And I recommend you guys do this same thing. So we're gonna add these to the product page and then we're gonna also add these to the homepage of our website, sauce it up a bit and show you guys how to add some giffies. So as we go inside the product settings, as you guys can see, we've got all of the stock images right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete all of these. I don't want any of these. I'm gonna keep the ones that are in the description and add a Giphy just because they're cool photos. But um, with these guys, I'm just gonna go through and actually go into Canva and add all the images I took into Canva and resize them to fit right because we obviously want them to fit squared just like the rest of everything else. So we're gonna go right here and I'm gonna drop all these images into Canva real quick. Boom, boom. All right, and now what we're gonna do is just resize these to fit Shopify. So basically we're just gonna put them all in this square template because this is essentially the Shopify size. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go to Giphy and make some Giphy's. So we're gonna go to Giphy.com. I just head over there. Then basically you're gonna take whatever video you have that you wanna turn into a Giphy. So first we're gonna do, where's the first video I wanna do? Maybe it's this, no, it's this guy right here. Boom, boom. Basically I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go create, and I'm going to go GIF, and then it's gonna say choose file. Go right here and drag and drop this guy. And now it's basically going to make a GIF. So we're just gonna trim this. I'm gonna keep it to where it zooms out like that, I like that. And then I'm gonna keep all that too, honestly. Continue to create. So now it's gonna make us a GIF, and this is what we're gonna be able to put in our description to make our description move around and stuff. All right, you guys, looking way better. So now let's see if our GIF's ready. Still not ready, wait for it. Boom, I'm gonna replace some of these photos in the description too. So all you're gonna do is just click delete and you can just go right here and you can just insert whatever image you want. So let's upload file. Let's use this one since I didn't use this one in the product photos. Insert this guy right in there. Boom, looks way cleaner. Let's get rid of this too and this too. I like this little thing that explains what it does, that's fine. And then we'll go why this gif taking forever all right you guys so now that our giphy is loaded as you can see we got it right here so now all we're going to do is download and we're also going to save image as i'm going to save it right here that saved as a png so it didn't work we're going to continue to upload so after you click continue to upload boom boom once this thing loads there we go we got the giphy saved so we downloaded it you guys once you click download it's going to save it as a giphy or it looks like it didn't save it the right way. Here, anyways, we gotta upload it to Giphy first. I think this should work, honestly, because it just shows up as a Giphy like that because it's a white, white in the beginning, so I think this should work. Boom, just like that. All right, you guys, so as we, as you see, we've got the Giphy uploaded onto our description. All you guys have to do to do that, once again, is just left click on here, click Save Image As, then you just save, and basically, once you save that image, you go into your, since a Giphy is essentially a JPEG image, you go to your description and you just go ahead and insert image and click insert and then it pulls up just like that. Obviously, we only want one of them. And uh, obviously, you guys make sure you use high quality videos to do this, otherwise it won't look that good. Definitely looks a lot more custom, feels a lot more like an actual brand as you guys can see. So, great looking website. We added custom content. I showed you how to make a TikTok. We've got literally everything done, you guys. And I am excited to let you guys know that I'm gonna be giving away this brand to one of you guys who likes this video and drops a comment below. All you need to comment is either the words Shopify and dropshipping or one thing that you learned from this video. Just drop a comment, one thing you learned from this video or Shopify dropshipping. Just wanted to take a second and say, all of you guys who are watching from across the screen, you look absolutely beautiful and I believe in each and every one of you guys and I want you guys to know that you are amazing and everything you wanna do in your life can be achieved if you put your fucking mind to it. So get to it and fucking do it. But with that being said, this is stage four. You'll know you're at stage four because it means you're making consistent sales. As long as you're making above five sales per day consistently for at least two to three days, that's when I would say it's time to head on to stage four. This is where you're gonna be doing stuff like actually going to Zendrop and applying for their select program and maybe trying to get a custom quote or a better price on your products. This is where you're gonna do things like actually go and add apps on your store like Reconvert and really do things to kind of scale up. However, this is something that's gonna happen after you start making money. 
money. This is not something you have to worry about now. All the other stuff is, this is something for the future. But when it comes to actually scaling, there's a couple things to keep in mind. First, you guys are definitely gonna wanna try to get a better price for your product. So you can hit up Zendrop to get a custom quote on your product right inside their dashboard, which is super, super cool. Second thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and make sure that you have some sort of customer support set up. Whether it's you, whether you're hiring somebody on Fiverr, make sure you have some sort of customer support. I'd recommend just doing it yourself in the beginning. And you guys could even use ChatGPT to simply reply to emails. Just copy somebody's email and tell ChatGPT to generate a response. And then you can go off the ChatGPT response and edit it to make, you know, it fit your brand and all that good stuff. The next thing you guys are gonna wanna make sure is that you start adding apps. I recommend Reconvert, I recommend the Vitals app, and I recommend the Looks apps for reviews. Make sure you guys check out these apps and use these as you start to scale because they will be apps that will come in absolute clutch. I'll definitely have a link in the description to all the apps I recommend just so you guys can check them out. I also will have discounts for all of those because I have worked out deals with most of the companies that I recommend to get you guys special deals because you guys obviously request that and like it when I do that. I would also set up some kind of email marketing through something like MailChimp, which is what I recommend. But this is all stuff you guys can just kind of write down and worry about once you're at that point. I'll also have more advanced scaling videos in the future. Now that you're at stage four, you pretty much have drop shipping understood. And at this point, you should be ready to really maybe even start a second store or just try to scale up your first one as far as you possibly can. Hopefully both. Love all you guys. My name's Jeremy Ray. I'll see you in the next one.